what is up people dev sage here and in this video i'm going to be teaching you about recursion um so if you're new to programming recursion you might have heard of recursion uh, but you never really understood what it was or or how it worked um so in this video hopefully you'll get a better understanding of how it works so what is recursion recursion is a programming technique in which the solution to one big problem is dependent on the solutions of each of the sub problems inside of it um, recursion is usually expressed as a function that calls itself over and over and over until it reaches some stopping condition um, so every recursive function has two parts first part is the base case which is that stopping condition I mentioned and the second part is the recursive call to that same function usually with different arguments than what were passed in the first time to give a uh, real world example let's say we have some of those uh, Russian matroshka dolls where you have a doll inside of a doll inside of a doll and let's say there's a piece of chocolate inside of this smallest doll and we want to get that that piece of chocolate um, so if if we knew how many dolls we had we can just use a for loop but let's say we don't know how many dolls there are so this would be a good problem for recursion so I'm gonna I'm gonna kinda write a, a function in pseudo code here it's not gonna be actual code that's going to run uh, but it's just gonna give you a general understanding of what's going on so first we're gonna have our function uh, let's call it uh, process doll and we're going to take in the doll we want to process and like I said earlier each recursive function is going to have a base case which is the stopping condition that it's going to check for first and then if that base case fails the recursive call to itself so in this case our base case is going to be an if statement that says if let's say if we found the piece of chocolate then we know that we're done we found the chocolate so we can just return we can just we're gonna return yum yum um, let's say is there any way to get this syntax uh, code intelligence disable okay so that makes it a little better um, so yeah let's say found the piece of chocolate else if that condition fails then we know we need to, to process another doll so in this we're gonna call process doll but instead of using the current doll we've already processed one process this one we're gonna call the smaller doll so now in this recursive call it's gonna call this on the smaller doll and it's gonna check the base case if we found the piece of chocolate return yum yum else it's going to check the doll inside of that one it's going to keep going and going and going until we found a piece of chocolate now let's say that there doesn't have to be a piece of chocolate in the middle let's say there there could be a doll that doesn't have another doll in it but also doesn't have a piece of chocolate in it so in order to check for that what we can do is add another condition we could say if we found the piece of chocolate else if there are no more dolls then if we've gotten here this means there are no more dolls and there are no there is no chocolate in this last doll so we can just return um, no chocolate here and return a, a frowny space and that's going to be into that so that's essentially the, 
the essence of recursion. I mean, you have you start your base case. If your base case fails, then you do some other checks. And in those other checks, eventually you're going to have a recursive call to the same function uh, that called it, but with slightly different arguments passed in. Um, so hopefully that example kind of gave you a, uh, a, a general understanding of how recursion works. So now we're actually going to get into a, a, uh, some actual code that we're going to run. And the example I'm going to use is a classic example of recursion, which is factorial. So just in case you need a refresher of what factorial is, it's let's say we have a number n, or let, let, let's say we have 4, 4 factorial. What this translates to is 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So if you take an integer x, and then you take all of the integers that are less than x down to 1, and you multiply all of those numbers together, that is x factorial. So in this case, 4 factorial is equal 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, which is 24. Um, so if we wanted to write a recursive uh, function for this, Let's start off by saying function factorial, and then we're going to take in the number we're currently looking at, and then our, we need we need a base case. So our base case, well, let's it's going to be if n is equal to one, or n is equal to zero, then we return one. Else. We need to return n times factorial of n minus 1. And that's it. So if we go down underneath and console log factorial of 4, we should get 24. And there it is. So why does this work? What's actually going on? So, so let's say we have our original call factorial 4 what happens is it goes in checks the base case if 4 is equal to 1 nope or is 4 is equal to 0 nope so the base case is skipped and then you go to this uh, recursive call which is return n so in this case is 4 times factorial of 4 minus 1 which is 3 so we need to process this. So we go down here, check the base case. If 3 is equal to 1, nope. If 3 is equal to 0, return 1, nope. Base case is skipped. So now we go and return n 3 times factorial of 3 minus 1, which is 2. Same thing happens here. The base case is skipped. So we got 2 times factorial of 1 and in the factorial of 1 call we check if n is equal to 1 which it is equal to so we're going to return 1 so instead of making another inst instead of going to this uh, recursive call we just return 1 so factorial of 1 is equal to 1 so now 2 times 1 is equal to 2 and this is actually the value a factorial 2 up here so it gets bubbled up and now we have 3 times 2 here which is 6 which is actually the value of factorial 3 and that gets bubbled up and we have 6 times 4 which is 24 and this is the value of factorial 4 it gets bubbled up and that's pretty much it um recursion is, is is fairly simple to understand um you have a, a function and you have a base case which is your stopping condition and then you have some logic after that and then you have a, your recursive call to that to that function um yeah it's pretty it's pretty simple it's, it's using a lot of uh, a lot of different kinds of problems like 
uh, sorting and 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 all, all all kinds of stuff like that. Um, so yeah. If you didn't understand recursion before watching this video, hopefully you understand it at least a little bit better now. And if you want more tutorials, let me know down in the comments. I'm trying to center my videos around explaining um, complicated concepts simply. So if there's some complicated programming concept that you're struggling to understand, uh, just let me know and I'll look into making a tutorial for it. And that's about it. Peace.